everyone. Welcome to Weekend Project. I'm Laura Lynn of the Mama Pop Quilt Shop and we're very happy to see you here today. Today I'm making a flannel pillowcase. Now this is something I've never made for my family. I made pajama bottoms, I've done all sorts of things. So I'm making a matching set for Pop and I right here. I've got that. We'll do both of them. And then I have one that I'm making up for Munchkin, which is just some of the little bit of the opposite bits of fabric and making it so that it all matches. So it's our Christmas pillowcases. I don't know. I thought it'd be kind of fun. Okay. So there's, I'm sure there's lots of videos on this. It's called like the sausage, the burrito, the easy peasy, the roll up, whatever. I find it, it there's many, many ways. I'm doing a French seam on mine. That's just because I want to. So, because it's a lot of, and it's flannel, right? And this has been pre washed. So, what I, we've got is for measurements is 27. Okay. 27 should be wide. Hold on. So, you can see my little measuring board. Here's 27 right here. That's on zero. So, 27. And this fits uh, a standard pillow. Uh, pillow. Uh, all right, so um, so that is 27 by, you know, 43, 44, something like that, okay? And then the same is what you need for the same measurement is for uh, a band, which is this little bit right here. Uh, some were doing it at two inches, some were doing it at one inch. I did three because I kind of like it and I wanted a bit of the plaid to show on both sides, the black and the white, or sorry, the black and the red, and then the, you know, so I chose mine a little bit bigger, but, you know, that's up to you. And for this gray one, I also chose it to be uh, three inches, so that'll go for munchkins and uh, that gets on as well and they go into like a little layer I think that's probably why they call it a burrito or the way it gets rolled up so and then I have my cuff color is right here so that's this one right there okay and I chose that to be 10 inches okay so it's 27 by 43 44 whatever you can get out of your bolt depending on where it is making sure you're not using your salvage and then 10 inches by the same and then three inches so okay and we're going to easily put this together, okay? Well, first we need to press this little band in half, okay? So we need to finish doing that. And that's why I brought out this big guy over here so you could see without me turning to the side of how I was just literally just folding it in half and giving it a little press, okay? And this is really fast and really quick, and especially if you're not sure what to, uh, to make for someone, or you want to start including pillowcases with your quilts when you give them away, you know, that's, you know, that's a nice gift as well. Okay. And I chose mine all flannel. Uh, try and keep with the same fabric if you can. I mean, you know, you may like flannel for the, where you put your head part and then just cotton for the side. I mean, it's up to you. But I don't know, I thought I'd just stick to the flannel since I had a couple colors here. And they go nice together. Okay, so move that off to the side. Okay, there. Okay, so what we need to do is we just need to cut the salvage off of our piece right here. There's my ruler. I left that just so I would be a reminder. Get that out of the way. I think we have to do both sides, but we'll do one side at a time. We just don't want that included, okay? And then there's the same here. You, the print goes actually all the way to the edge, but you can still see those tiny little holes and you don't want those. There is a chance it's gonna get tucked in the seam and then the seam again, but mm, what if you saw them? That'd drive you crazy. <laughs> all right, put that off to the side. Okay, so this becomes the bottom and you're gonna lay these, uh, like this would be the right side up, but because it's a plaid, I mean, you know, it's, it can be very complicated at this point, but that, that's, that's obviously the way it's supposed to be. So this one here goes right on. So this would be right side, right side, okay? And line it up. And then this one goes right on top, okay? And then what I did to just to make sure that these are all gonna stay together, you could use a couple of those little clips, two, 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 or like a pin or two a birdie pin. Now I'm just kind of meeting it up at the corner here and then just giving it a little poke. And then all the way over onto this side, meet those three all the way up at the corners. Cause they should be all the same length. Should be. <laughs> okay. And then I'm just kind of gonna let it dangle, flop it back on the table. And then just kind of make sure everybody's together the way they're supposed to be in the little row. 
And then what you do is you take the longest part, which is going to be the pillow uh, main part here, is you go to the very end and just roll it up. Doesn't have to be super tight or anything, but just enough that it can easily get stitched inside. Just rolling it, rolling it, roll it all the way up. And then take this part, which you have facing up, that's going to flip right over, and you're going to line all these little seams together. One, two, three, four, because you got the two of the gray, and five. Okay, and then make sure they're all together and put in a few pins, whatever you need to make sure they're all going to stay together. And this is where you can do maybe just a little bit bigger than uh, a quarter inch. You could probably go between a quarter and a half, that sort of thing, just to make sure you're getting everybody in the pool because sometimes fabric shifts as you're sewing along, right? But that's where, you know, lots of pins come in handy. So just keep pinning, just keep pinning, just keep pinning. And then try and line up. You know, fabric is stubborn sometimes. Hope everybody's ready for the big day. It's just ticking down, let me tell you. All the munchkins were very excited. <laughs> I got many little cards and couple of ornaments and some suckers <laughs> and some cookies. I feel very spoiled, let me tell you. Uh, but I'm glad the kids uh, at least enjoy my quirky sense of humor and, you know, and, and the parents as well, right? So, at least some of them anyways. <laughs> I appreciate it. I'm just trying to get everybody up. That seemed like it was going to slip down there a little bit. Oh, it's going to take some time, but just maneuver it. Just maneuver it and you'll get her. You will win. Doo -doo. Yeah, we got our turkey out of the freezer, so we're going to have turkey. Very excited. I like turkey. And Pop will make his stuff in and... Not sure if we're going to have some. Maybe we'll make apple pie. We had pumpkin pie for Thanksgiving, so maybe we'll make apple pie. What's everybody's Christmas traditions? Like, what do you do? We used to go to the movies, uh, just considering it was the three of us, you know, just Munchkin Papa and I. So we used to always go to the movies on Christmas Day. Uh, but we kind of stopped that the year before, whatever, or Netflix. Now we just watch whatever. We, I save actually a few shows, so and I, I have a few that I want to watch. So, So we're saving those. All right, so there's that one. Done. We're just going to do the same thing to this one, okay? So this would be the cuff, and it's face up, so right side up to you, okay? And then this, again, this is the right side, right side up. Lay that right on top. So I'm making a matching one to go with the one I've already made. So either that's Pops or mine, it doesn't really matter. They're, they're both going to be the same. So, and this will be a surprise for him when he goes to edit the video. <laughs> so surprise! <laughs> it's hard to keep surprises when you're trying to make things and then you still want to do a video on it, you know? So, that's okay. Don't, don't want to... I want to not do it, right? So, okay, and then I folded my little red band in half, just and pressed it, okay? And we're putting that right in position. Move those out of the way. Like I said, put a little pin just to kind of hold it. I mean, that's up to you. Helps a little, prevent them some things from getting, sh from shifting as you try to bring the, the top up to the bottom. That's gonna be super comfy, like a flannel pillowcase. Love it. And it could stay for after Christmas too. I just thought, you know, it'd be nice to have, have something nice and new that, you know, I always try to make the boys something and usually make us something too. They have matching pajama bottoms to this fa these fabrics, so. And then just roll up, roll up. Okay. And then take that little bottom part here and flip it right up to the top. And then just move those pins from that side to this side, okay? And then just pin along, making sure you have enough room. 
Okay. Now, really, a couple of these shouldn't take very long, like, um, you know, half an hour, 20 minutes, you know, that sort of thing. May take me longer because I'm yapping away, but, you know. <laughs> and I've been shaking my hat all week, <laughs> waving my pom-poms at people driving by. I wish I had Bell on it. <laughs> I may put one on. But then I might get a little too jingly. Do right, one more pin. All right, now we could sew. Oh, hold on, take every pin out, don't you? Do all right there. Okay, there's our two little uh, pillowcase tubes, sausages, burritos, tacos, nah, I don't know, snacks, whatever. <laughs> but they're pillowcases. <laughs> all right, super easy. Okay, now over here, we're just gonna sew down. Throw all those layers are together. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. And it just encloses them all together. That means you have no, just right back here, mark it back in there. No uh, raw seams. It's all, it's all tucked on the inside. And it's, it looks just very nice and very professional, so. And like I said, I'm going to give this maybe just a little, I'm going to ride the outside of my foot instead of the inside of my foot, uh, just to give this a little bit more. You know what I mean? I don't want to miss anybody. Now just take your time. Put her on down. Do you? Yeah, I'm very happy Pop's got a few days off so we could spend them together. I'm very, very excited about that. That's all I wanted for Christmas, so I'm very happy I got it. Okay. Of course, I'll have a brand new pillowcase. Excited. And then we're just going to do the same thing on the other one. Okay, let's kind of stretch that out. We don't want any puckers. If we can prevent any puckers from getting under there, you know. Some fabrics are a little bit more um, finicky to play with than others, and the flannel has a bit of a stretch to it, just a little bit. And this would work great uh, even with uh, polar fleece or uh, micro polar fleece. You can make pillowcases with that too. Maybe if it's just pillows for your, your couch, right? Make something a little slippy, slip cover for it. Okay, and the back stitch, okay. And then we'll do the other one. We'll just put the right off to the side here, right on top of there. Then we'll do the other one. And then we'll take them both outside. We'll just pull this straight out. And it looks really neat. And at that point, if you had a serger, you could just serge the raw edge all the way around, or you can zigzag. Uh, sometimes there's a, a foot that comes with your machine and it kind of goes stitch, stitch, in, in, or out. Like that. It kind of it mimics a serger. Uh, you could use that as well if you don't want to do a French seam. Um, you can even just roll the head edges on both sides. You know, use a rolled hem if you want, or just leave it, leave it raw. Maybe pinking shear it then, maybe. You know, that sort of thing, if you don't want to. You know, there's lots and lots of options. If you wanted to, you could um, sew the inside seam and do on the outside and then do like a blanket stitch. That would be lovely with a embroidery floss of some sort, like those little skeins of floss that you can get for doing uh, cross stitching and uh, hand embroidery and stuff. That would be pretty. You can put the people's names on it on the side with the same sort of uh, stitch out or um, the only limitation is your imagination. <laughs> oh, it looks like there's going to be a little, there we go. We don't want that. If we can prevent it. If it gets in there, oh well -o. No big dealio. Do, 
do. Oh, there's other things to stress about in life than a fold in a fabric. <laughs> Okay, we're almost at the end. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, it's okay, we can always trim. Things get shifted. Always make sure it's nice and even before we start sewing down. Okay, all right, now, here comes the magical part, I guess. <laughs> okay, so you pull it, take it towards you. Maybe Pop can zoom in here. I'll scoot over here. Do, do, do. Okay, and then you just pull it out. Okay, you're pretty much taking this side out and this side out at the same time. Okay, just kind of hold one and pull with the other, and it becomes super easy. And the smaller you make the cuff, the smaller room you're going to have to work with. So I kind of like a bigger cuff. And I, you know, that's my, was my choice, right? And sometimes those king size pillows, you're going to have to adapt for that. So, you know, make them a little longer. You know, maybe they're not as wide or they are a little wider. Okay, so once that's all pulled out, look how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty? All sealed in. All those raw edges are right inside, tucked never to be seen again. It's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah, not cool. Uh oh, looks like I missed a little bit back here. Uh oh, or it ripped. Uh oh, because it wasn't close enough. That's okay, at least it's only here. I can fix that. Let's turn that just the cuff just a little bit. Line that back up. And fix that. You know, I was thinking about it since my mom had asked for a um, uh, a new quilt, Christmas quilt for next year or Christmas quilt for her bed, that I'd like to, you know, make her a matching, um, you know, pillowcase to go with it, right? So that seems kind of nice. Put her name on it so it doesn't get lost. There we go. Lovely. Lovely. Okay, so now you can give that a little press, kind of get all everything nice and flat. All right, so let's move this back over here. Let's line this up. We'll just do a little pressy press, okay? Right here. Oh, those, I love those colors together. They're so pretty. Okay, and then we'll move down the line. I know I'm gonna have to get my, make myself up a pressing board, but I had this and I thought of it just like last moment as I was just uh, prepping for the, the, the video for today. I'm like, oh, well, maybe I'll just do that. Move the big iron part over and use the little sleeve ironer. And uh, that way it's easier to show you guys. There we go, perfect. Okay, so now if you wanna do a regular seam, just flap those guys together. Pin it up, making sure you're lining those uh, th th those seams up right there. Make sure you're lining up real good, and then just sew down. And then that way you can do a little zigzag afterwards, or you can zip it through the serger, or you can use that little foot that you can do it too. Or if you want to do a French seam, which I have done on mine, I'm gonna sew it this way first. With the right sides out, doing exactly the same thing as pinning, pinning the very crucial points, okay? I know I did it on a sock last weekend, but I thought it'd be nice to put that extra finish. So that's what, you know, when you're doing one layer and you don't want to line it, that sort of thing, you can, the French seam is awesome for that. But I thought it'd be very nice on these flannel pillowcases. Okay. And then you're just gonna sew really close to that edge, you know, about an eighth, or if you do a quarter, then you can trim it, you know, that sort of thing. Looks like we're a little bit off on here. Let's tidy that up so I'm not gonna miss it. Do do for some reason, but that's all right. It is what it is. Now, put another couple pins 
just to keep those two little seams uh, or two edges or the raw edges of the fabric here together. You don't want them, them shifting because you want them really close together because you're going to flip that inside out. And then sew so on the inside here and this encloses all the edges. So you've got no raw edges on this beautiful project. You do. All right, so let's do that there for this one and finish this one out at the same time, pulling the inner part out, holding the cuff, and just kind of pulling the pillowcase part out, this, the big part, okay. Super easy. You could do all these up ahead of time and then just, you know, sit in front of the, the tube and pull them all out and pin them all up and then back to the machine. And <laughs> you could have everybody in the family a pillowcase in no time at all. <laughs> okay. And I oh, I love those colors together too. I think it was quite pretty. Okay. Of course, this one's from Mudgkin. And hopefully, maybe I can keep that still a secret. <laughs> You never know. And if it's not a secret, at least it's the thought that counts. Okay. All right, press that out. Two, two. Oh, so pretty. All right, and of course, I'm going to do a French on this one as well. So I'm going to line those up. Just want to keep all of our stuff consistent. Two. Oops, somebody, some thread, escapees. Okay, line these up so they're nice and even. Want it to look consistent, you know, matched up the best we can, just like that, right? The top, and then down to the corner. And I'm just choosing to use white thread for this, even for this one as well, but because I'm, you know, for the French seam, you're not gonna see any of the uh, the thread, so. Do, kind of try and light up my plaid. My plaid seems to be a little bit off. I would really like to have that extra touch. So I'm gonna try and line up those squares. Okay, let's see if I can keep that consistent all the way down. I think it would bother me visually to see it uh, askew. So I'm gonna try and make that little extra effort here to try and line it up. May have to trim a little bit off the bottom, but I, that, I don't mind that at all. That won't be noticeable, that this would, right? You have to pick your battles. <laughs> pick your battles with your fabric. <laughs> Couple more, and then we're good to go. Okay. Line that up. Shift that just a little bit. Okay, now, do do. I'll try and get the same for this way as well. Okay, so put some couple pins in there. If you're doing it for one way, do it for the other. Okay, I want need to trim this off first. Oh, and I got a beautiful rose too. Yeah. And not by anybody who crosses any, or has any kids there. It was just by one of the ladies who drives by all the time and waves. Oh, that was really lovely. All right, now making sure those beautiful plaids are matched up. All right, there we go. Now, let's get these last two pillowcases and last little things off my list. And then I'm ready, I think. <laughs> All right, do this one first. Spin in the machine. <clears throat> I'm gonna try and come close to the edge between a quarter and an eighth, that sort of thing, and I'll just flip. Now when it comes to this um, big seam here, go a little slow. Okay, just slow and steady. 
wins the race. There we go. Just that's a lot of fabric there. You don't you don't wanna you don't wanna risk anything. It's right close to the edge. So when I go and turn it to the other way, hopefully I'm enclosing it as I sew down again. In the new seam on the inside. We pin out of the way and foot up to pivot back towards me. Probably make a pieced band, like or the cuff of it. You can make they make that out of pieced fabric or something like that, or do some applique on that. Uh, but I probably wouldn't wear your gonna rest your head. You might end up with an imprint on your face, <laughs> or the kids in the morning. <clears throat> okay, now that's been all the way around, really, really close to that edge here. I'm only right there. I'm gonna take it and turn it inside. It right, well, the inside's out. Yes, so the inside will be outside. Okay, and we're going to want to poke out those corners. Okay, get all the way out. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Get your little pointer stick if you have to. Okay, and then just stretch it out. Line those seams back up. Kind of roll them against each other a little bit, making sure you're going to enclose the seam. Okay, you might want to pop at least a pin right maybe where the big section is, just to keep everybody together. Okay, and here. Also give it a little press too, if you wanted. Okay. Now same, you can put in between, you know, like a quarter and a half on this one, and then you're you're making sure that it is completely enclosed. Okay. Now again, this is where that thick part is, and of course we're doing it again because we flipped it. So kind of. You may have to hold this one and give it a little bit of a bit of a tug. I wouldn't be yanking it, but just give it maybe help it so if it's getting a little stubborn. So it's nice and even, and then slow on the down, and away you go. Off to the races. I can imagine people just realizing, oh my gosh, it's just sneaking up. I can't believe it. <clears throat> At least you have the weekend, I have to say. You're, you have the weekend. There's been, in the past couple of years, it's been right on the weekend. So you've only had, and everybody's having to work up all the way to it, right? So it's made hard to get some things done, projects done. So we've had a very good year here in the quilt shop. Very, very good year. Made lots of new friends via our uh, YouTube channel and our Facebook page. And we're happy to have everybody here with us and sharing along on this lovely adventure. Having some fun in the sewing. Quilting with friends, nothing better. Get all the way down. And then do a little back. Okay. And then it should be done. See, I'm trying to do two at once, but if you only had to do one, that'd be easy. See, there we go. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. Perfect. Okay. See that? And it's all enclosed in there as well. Looks awesome. Let me take this. And we flip it out. I'm gonna freak out. We're just gonna flip it out. 
Okay, and of course we can give it a little press. And then we want to check, we want to check our seam. If we had a thread or two, that's not a big deal. Just trim that up. But if you had like a whole chunk of fabric or you had a big chunk of like a raw edge going all around, I think we're good. Yay, we're good. Um, you'd want to deal with that, okay? So we can save that. We'll put it over there for a press. Very excited, okay? And we're gonna do that. Same thing to munchkins, okay? So right close to the edge, all the way down. Get a little slow over the big intersection here. I know I'm usually always pedal to the metal and rock it to the floor, but you know, sometimes you gotta go slow. All right, now I'm making sure this is the start where the plaid was having, it was shifting before. So I wanna make sure I've lined it up correctly or the best that I can. Come on, you don't seem to be quite as on as I'd like you to be there, buddy. Okay, there we go. And get right close to that edge. Same thing. This is a great gift to give to a family that you're not sure even what to give for, you know? Like, everybody gets a pillowcase. Who wouldn't love their own pillowcase? Different from everybody else's? You know? All the way down to the corner. And then pivot. See how close I'm coming to that edge? It's really, really close. I find it easier on the straightaways. I probably wouldn't have been so more, more comfortable doing it that close without the trimming part on the, the boot, or the stocking. So, but straightaways are okay. And if you, like I say, you'd be comfortable and then you can always just trim it up. Or just do a little bit more of a bigger inseam or a seam on the inside. It won't hurt it. Okay, take the last little pin out here. And now again, take it to from the inside out, go all the way around one more time and bibbidi bobbidi boo. Christmas pillowcases are done. Oh, oh, not done. <laughs> Spoke too soon. I probably was really, too close, really, really close on that one. The underside there looked like I just missed it. Okay. Again. <laughs> okay, there we go. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Oh, that looks lovely. Okay. <laughs> now. Poke it out, get that raw seam tucked right in there. Go all the way down. Let's put a little pin right there. Let's poke these guys out there. Oh, that's okay. We can do that. I was riding it close. Two. Weevix, no problem. Weevix. here. Tuck that. Tuck that. And we're okay everywhere else. That's why we're looking. We're looking to make sure we're okay. Let's trim some of these hairy ones here. Okay. There we go. All right. Ready to rock and roll. Wiggle that corner out, wiggle that corner out, and then sew on down all the way around. Okay. And I did a really good job on matching up that plaid. Awesome. Looks really good. Okay, a little back stitch. This would be so warm and comfortable. Snuggly. All right, here's that big seam again. Just gonna give it a little. Holding it steady. Stitching on down. Just 
straight to the corner. Pivot. And then, do do. We're almost there. Looks so good. Looks so good. Looks so good. And of course, you could choose matching thread. I just didn't want to, you know, to me it wasn't really going to matter. You know, Munchkin wasn't going to matter. I mean, it wasn't going to matter to him. He, d he does matter. That's not what I say. <laughs> Came out wrong. <laughs> And that's two done. Okay, we'll trim up the little threads here. Okay. And then turn that out. That's pretty good. There we go. Like I said, a couple little of the hairy bits, that's okay. That's not a big deal. We can trim those up. That's just the little ones that are just sticking through. But as long as there's no big chunk of fabric, right, that's the key point. These are okay. Just gonna trim them up anyways. Well, that is Weekend Project. Thank you, everybody, for watching, liking, and subscribing and helping us reach the, you know, when we get to 10,000, if we're almost there or not there, whatever, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> <laughs> we thank you. We thank you very much. Uh, and a notice to our Patreon subscribers, you get a hour earlier tomorrow for your live stream, and the link will be via the Patreon channel. You'll be able to find it through there. So, okay. So thank you guys very, very much. Wish you all a very Merry Christmas. If I don't see you tomorrow on the live stream, and have a great day. Have a fantastic day, and have a great Christmas. I keep trimming up. This pillowcase. <laughs> it's a very furry one, this one. Trim up. Why is this so furry? All right, so there's that one. <laughs> and this one. To do. Thank you, everybody. Take care and have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.